eyes. I know what you mean. You know, I haven't had a real date in almost two months. I just can't seem to meet any interesting men. I don't know where to look anymore. Hey, Red. How about right under your nose? <laughs> if I was a snake, I'd bite you. You are, and don't even think about it. What about your office? There must be a few nice, intelligent men where you were. Oh, I make it a rule never to date anyone I'm working with. At my old job, my boss wouldn't leave me alone. I finally had to threaten him with a sexual harassment suit. Oh, I went through that with one of my old bosses. Mrs. Filbert, you were involved in a sexual harassment case. Yes. But they let me off with a warning. <laughs> Before a studio audience. Oh. Cut! Cut! Ah. Go! Good shooting, John! That's 10, 14, 17 points for your team. 17? Wait a minute. My last dart alone was worth 20 points. How do you think it? Well, that's how you scored it when your dart landed there. Well, that's because that was my second dart. Did I mention we're using the Swiss scoring method? Oh, no, no, hold it, hold it. Are you telling me that if your first dart sticks in the wall, you get a bonus? Look it up. <laughs> I don't know. Even if I do meet someone, it seems like I always attract the wrong kind of guy. I feel like a jerk magnet. Well, okay. maybe you're not leaving yourself open to meeting the right kind of man. What do you mean? Well, you did say putting your ex-husband through medical school, and then as soon as he graduated, he left you for another woman. So? Well, maybe that experience has embittered you against all men. Oh, oh come on. My ex-husband's ancient history. I let go of that years ago. Believe me, I, I hardly ever think of him. Or that flat-chested little melon head he's living with. <laughs> man, <laughs> you can't live without him, and you can't live... Without him. All right, sports fans. The final dot. All right. I don't believe it! A Wellington! Uh, we win! Uh, hold, 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 hold it right there. Now, what the hell is a Wellington? Uh, oh, it's simple, John. If you maneuver your last dot into this spot right here, then you triple your score for all three dots. Unless, of course, it's, uh even number, which it's not. It's a Wellington. John? John Lacey? Yeah. Neil! Alpha! Alpha! Epsilon! Ziggy Soggy! Ziggy Soggy! Hoy! 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 Hey, guys! This is Neil Kramer, an old, an old fraternity brother of mine. <laughs> John? You were one of those frat weenies? <laughs> hey, there's no way you would ever catch me join one of those fraternities. You went to college? No, he didn't have to. We spent eight years in high school. <laughs> John's friend is kind of cute. <laughs> to you, he's cute. To me, he's jailbait. <laughs> so, John, are you still teaching high school? Yes, I am. How's your computer business? Well, I decided to have some fun, so I sold my business. Boy, I'd like to sell my ninth grade English class. <laughs> hey, come here. I want you to meet some people. Neil, uh, Neil Kramer. Uh, uh, these are some friends of mine. This is uh, Kate, uh, Louise, Hello. and Mrs. Filbert. Hi. Hello, Kate. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Let me just. Get... Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Kate. Uh, allow me before we all have to move to higher ground. <laughs> hey, Neil. Uh, how's Melissa? We're divorced. <laughs> me too. Funny. <laughs> Wendy always thought that you and Melissa would, uh, would be together forever. No kidding. Melissa always thought that you and Wendy would be together forever. 
so much for women's intuition. Oh. <laughs> hey, are you still a Knicks fan? Yes. Because I have an extra ticket for the game on Sunday. So oh, I can't go Sunday. I'm sorry. I, uh. I, I got to teach this uh, seminar. At, uh, oh, listen, if you, if you need someone to go to the game with you, why don't you ask Kate? Kate is a very big sports fan. <laughs> John, John, you got to help me out. Kirk just got a double Wellington. <laughs> What the hell? I'll explain it to you. <laughs> well, how about it, Kate? Are you doing anything on Sunday? Sunday? Oh, I don't know. That's such short notice. Oh, Sunday. Sunday would be great. Oh, terrific. Now, I hope that you're a Knicks fan. Oh, uh, me? Are you kidding? Go, oh, Knicks! <laughs> well, it looks like you ladies could use some refills. Oh, now, what yeah. were you spilling? <laughs> white wine. Thank you, white wine. Uh -huh. Oh, I'll have another boiler maker. <laughs> I think you handled that quite well, Kate. How about that? I'm going to a Knicks game. <laughs> By the way, are the Knicks football or hockey? Hockey! <laughs> remind you once again about this weekend's closing drive to the homeless. I hope we'll all open our hearts and our closets to make this event a big success. Sure, we hear a lot of stuff. Oh, 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 Louise, mm -hmm. um, I would like to help, but I don't have any old clothes. Nothing. Well, what about that cape the Pope gave you? <laughs> the Pope gave you his cape. Well, he didn't actually give it to me. He traded me for my Mets jacket. So, Kate, I meant to ask you, how did your date with Neil go last week? Oh, great. Thanks for introducing us. In fact, we had such a good time, we drove all the way to Boston on Tuesday to see the Knicks play again. Neil drove all the way to Boston for a basketball game? Well, he wanted a break in his new Corvette. Well, he sure has a lot of energy for a guy that old, doesn't he, John? <laughs> Whoops, sorry. <laughs> Good night, Ralph. Good night, I'll see you. All right. Well, you've certainly broken out of your dating slump in fine fashion, Kate. Oh, yeah. In fact, Neil and I are going out again tonight. Mm. We have such a good time together. He's so charming and thoughtful, considerate, so witty. And he hasn't once made a pass at me. Oh, you poor thing. <laughs> Tough luck, honey. What's wrong with me? Why hasn't he made a move on me? Why hasn't he just grabbed me and pinned me against the hood of his car? Oh, that could be dangerous. Back in 1964, I had to have an ornament removed. I think perhaps he's gay. No. Mm. Neil and I were singing old songs the other night, and he didn't know the words to send in the clowns. Oh. Well, if Neil hasn't made a move on you, perhaps it's time you made a move on him. Oh, gee, I, I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't want to just throw myself at him. Why not? Well, I don't want him to think I'm too easy. Kids. <laughs> Kate, there's nothing wrong with a woman letting a man know she's interested. I do it with a walk. If you want to get a guy's engine started, let him see you walking like this. <laughs> oh, you know, I always knew Manhattan was beautiful at night, but seeing it from a blimp was incredible. Yeah, I have wanted to go up in a blimp since I was a little kid, but somehow I could just never find the time. Isn't it crazy how we always put things off? I mean, if there's something we want, why not just go for it? Good point. Um, uh, would you like to come in for a while? Oh, thanks, Kate. But uh, we both have to get up pretty early. I have an appointment. You have that clothing drive, remember? Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I just remembered. I do have an alarm clock, and I bet it would be loud enough to wake us both. Oh, I don't know, Kate. I'll I... make you breakfast. Well, that is a very nice offer, but... Are... <laughs> oh, God, I am so embarrassed. I'm not using the right to make it. Okay, so I'll make myself a little bit... 
Hey. Why don't we go set that alarm clock? Right. Aren't you going to open the door? Sure does. Your neck is sporting a love tomato the size of Utah. We had such a great time. Neil surprised me with a blimp ride over Manhattan. Oh, how unusual. Yeah, and tonight I've got a little surprise for him. Oh, 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 oh. Right, right, easy. There's a box of pants over here getting excited. Hey, take a look at these. Two tickets to the Rolling Stones concert. Yeah, yeah, Neil's always wanted to see them in person, and they got two in the front row. Front row seats for the Stones, how romantic. <laughs> you and Neil can hold hands and watch each other's ears bleed. Excuse me, is there a Kate McCarran here? Oh, that's me. These are for you, I need you to sign here. Oh, Kate, they're beautiful. Um, isn't Neil something? We've only been apart a few hours, and he's already sending me flowers. What's uh, going on in here? Uh, we're having a clothing drive for the homeless. That is really nice. Oh. I hope you find something you can use. <laughs> What's wrong? I just got dumped. What are you talking about? This. In short, your friend said, thanks for last night and get lost. Oh, no. Um, Red, if I may, um, <laughs> I usually try and stay away from women on the rebound, but in this case, I oh, was just Oh, shut think... up. Okay. I offered. <laughs> How dumb could I get? You know, I thought Neil was different. I guess he's just like every other man. Uh, wait, Kate. You know, I don't want to hear anything from you either. Me? Yeah. What would I do? Well, you practically forced me to go to that stupid basketball game with your old fraternity pal. You know, John, next time you feel the urge to butt into my life, butt out. Poor Kate. Uh... Think you want to unload those Stones tickets? <laughs> what? I'd pay her. Oh, easy. Steady. There. Now, in exactly two minutes, you're going to be as good as new. <laughs> oh, you dirty. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. Yeah, hold on. Uh, 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 Neil? Yeah? Good. Uh, Neil? Um, oh, Neil? yourself, Neil. Hi. Hi, John. What are you, uh, what are you doing? Oh, I broke this plate my students gave me. I'm just trying to glue it back together. 
I'm glad you can make it over, Neil. Well, I wanted to talk about this in person. Kate means a lot to me, too, you know. Well, you have a very strange way of showing it, Neil. John, let me tell you what's going on here. You remember back in college when you and I were pallbearers at Skip Foster's funeral? How can I forget? He's the first friend they ever had who died. You remember at the cemetery, we were standing up on a hill, and we were talking about what had happened to Skip, and we promised each other that we would never get plastered and drive. Yeah. We even talked about which one of us was good, probably going to die first, you and me. Right. Yeah. And we made a bet about that. You remember? Yeah, that's right. Well, it looks like you're going to win. Huh? I've got about a year to live. What? I have this, uh type of leukemia that is called CML. Oh, my God. Yeah, I couldn't believe it either. And I, I thought it was some kind of a mistake. I mean, that is the kind of thing that happens to somebody else, right? I got so damn mad. I was, oh, I was mad at my body. I was mad at my doctor. I was mad at everything, everybody. Now, I'm still mad, but I've learned to deal with it. I'm handling it, John. Honestly, I am. Now, I, I hope you can understand why I didn't want to tell Kate this. I mean, you, you tell people that you're dying, they just fall apart. Go figure people. Whoa. Now we know why he dropped Kate. <laughs> Kirk, you know how to knock? John, it was open. You ought to be more careful there, buddy. Any freak could just walk right in here. <laughs> Kirk, what do you want? Uh, I got a little problem, John. I need to use your phone. Why don't you use your own phone? Well, that's a problem. Uh, I see my Bell and I had a little spat, and she got off my dial phone. Look, Kirk, <clears throat> Kirk, Neil and I are trying to have a little talk here. That's no yep. problem. No problem at all. I'll just use the phone in the bedroom. No, Kirk. Uh, oh, and you guys, try and keep it down, will ya? I'm calling long distance. <laughs> Please, Kirk. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm sorry about that. Well, hey, it's your phone bill. <laughs> so listen, have you got a beer for a fellow frat weenie, huh? Yes, yes, sure I do. Come here. Oh, uh, they're in the fridge. Would you get me one? Sure. Oh, Kate, Kate. Kate, hi, hi Kate. Um, yeah. I, I just wanted to come over and apologize for what I said to you yeah, this well, morning. Yeah, well, I accept. Goodbye. I'm not uh, sure. What? I don't blame you. Uh, I mean, it's not your fault that Neil's a jerk. Uh, okay, let's do it. Here we go, John. Well, look who's here. <laughs> Having a brewski with your buddy to celebrate your latest conquest, huh? You don't understand. Uh, I understand perfectly. You know, as far as I'm concerned, you can drop dead. Uh, Kate, uh, Kate, 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 now listen, hold it. I've, I've really screwed this whole thing up here. There's something I should have told you. What's that? I should have told you... I'm dying. Whoa. John, this guy is good. <laughs> Dying? What are you talking about? Well, I, I, uh, I have leukemia, and it's terminal. Oh, I'm so, so, so... No, no, Kate, I'm the one who's sorry. As soon as I felt myself getting close to you, I should have stopped. No. I should have pulled away. Why? Why? We'll make the most of the time we have left, I promise. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm very flattered, Kate, but I have a lot of things that I want to do before my time's up. Well, like what? Well, for one thing, I'd like to learn how to scuba dive. I can swim. And I want to take a uh, safari in Africa. I love animals. I want to skydive over the Grand Canyon. I can wait at the hotel and do some shopping. <laughs> Kate, you are very special. And I wish that I had some room in my life for a relationship, but I don't. 
Now, it may sound selfish, but the only person that I have time to worry about right now is me. Can you understand that? Yeah. And you don't, uh, you don't hate me? <laughs> no. No, I've wasted too much time hating men already. Hey, are you busy tonight? No, why? Take a look at these. The stones? Yeah, front row center. You want to go? <laughs> Okay, hot stuff. You got yourself a date. Great. <laughs> hey, John, yeah. we're taking off now. Huh? Yeah, Kate and I are going to do something that I've always wanted to do. We're going to see a Stones concert. Really? Uh, yeah. Stones, huh? Yeah, uh, we'll uh, have a great time. John, it was real good seeing you again. Same here, buddy. Kappa. Alpha. Epsilon. Siggy saggy. Siggy saggy. Oi, oi, oi. Uh, bye. Bye, Kate. Sure makes you think, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. About what? <laughs> L.A. Law. Arnie is doing it again. He's mixing business with pleasure. So let's see where it gets him this time. And Sunday night, the stars come out to honor a legendary choreographer when Bill Cosby salutes Alvin Ailey with Felicia Rashad, Malcolm Jamal Warner, Tempest Bledsoe, Keisha Knight-Pulliam, Roberta Flack, Anthony Quinn, and more. Sunday night.